Now let's look at problem number 33. In problem 33, we want to find the horizontal asymptote of the function f of x equals 40x to the fifth plus x squared divided by 16x to the fourth minus 2x. Uh, and we know that the way that we find a horizontal asymptote is we're going to take the limit as x goes to infinity of the function. So let's take the limit as x goes to infinity of our function. So that's 40x to the fifth plus x squared divided by 16x to the fourth minus 2x. All right, and we want to find this limit. Just as we've been doing in some of the previous videos, the next step that I want to do is I want to figure out, okay, look at the numerator, look at the denominator, which of them has the highest power of x? Well, in this case, it's the numerator, and the highest power of x is x to the fifth. So let's divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by x to the fifth. If I do, I get the following. This is the limit as x goes to infinity of 40x to the fifth plus x squared divided by x to the fifth divided by 16x to the fourth minus 2x divided by x to the fifth. All right, so now what we would like to do is let's um, simplify this a little bit. If I do, I get the limit as x goes to infinity. On top, I have 40x to the fifth divided by x to the fifth. In other words, 40. I have x squared divided by x to the fifth, which is 1 over x cubed. On the bottom, I have 16x to the fourth divided by x to the fifth, which is 16 over x. And finally, I have negative 2x over x to the fifth, which is minus 2 over x to the fourth. And now I want to take the limit as x goes to infinity. As x goes to infinity, 1 over x cubed gets very small and goes to 0. 16 over x gets small and goes to 0. And 2 over x to the fourth gets small and goes to 0. So what am I left with here? On the top, I just have 40 plus 0, or 40. And on the bottom, I have 0. But wait a second, 40 divided by 0 is undefined. And if I get something undefined out of this limit, then I did not get a, anything as I move towards infinity. As I'm moving towards infinity, this thing in some sense is getting huge or very small. It's not moving toward a point. So there is no limit here, necessarily. Uh, maybe we're moving towards positive infinity or negative infinity, but we're not moving toward a constant value, which would indicate that I have a horizontal asymptote. And since I'm not moving toward a point, I'm not getting a horizontal asymptote, so there is no horizontal asymptote. And actually, by looking at the very first part of this, you notice that the power of x on top, the highest power of x on top, is bigger than the highest power of x on the bottom. And what that tells me right off the bat is there's not going to be a horizontal asymptote. It's kind of like the numerator is getting bigger much faster than the denominator. And so we can't move towards a point as we go out towards infinity.